as I understand, the document was handled appropriately at all times, and I think the most important thing about said document is that the whole world has access to it now. This president's latest iteration of the democratization of information is that he released it to the entire world, including all of you. So everybody can see the fate of that document. I may not say what it wanted you to say or what Adam Schiff wanted to say or Nancy Pelosi thought it might say since she called for an impeachment inquiry before even seeing this document, a conclusion in search of evidence for sure. But everyone has access to the document, and that's what matters. And, and what, 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 what should Americans... I'm sorry? Does the president have any proof that the whistleblowers are spying? The president is always concerned when people are possibly leaking information that they shouldn't if it's based on, if it includes national security or sensitive or highly classified information. Early on in our time here, as you probably recall, his calls with the leaders of Mexico and Australia leaked. And then his conversation with the Russian ambassador and someone else uh, from that embassy, I believe, leaked. And so there's great concern, and my understanding is that we changed some of the protocols then, in other words, in, in handling leader calls. But this is all new to me Fewer because, to well, this is new to me because I either, sometimes I listen to the leader calls, sometimes I'm part of that, some, God bless you. Uh, and sometimes I'm, uh, I read the transcripts and sometimes I don't do either of the above. But, so I don't know how the situation room handles uh, the transcriptions, and I don't know how the NSC does. But I'm told by those who do know that everything was handled appropriately. <coughs> Kelly, do you yeah. believe that this whistleblower is a legitimate whistleblower under the statute and therefore entitled to protection under the law? Or does he believe that he has the ability unilaterally to name this person publicly? Well, that's an either or question that's um, a, a silly. The nonstop platform to Adam Schiff in an oxymoron-like fashion is chairman of the Intelligence Committee, who lied for years in your papers, on your Twitter feeds, on your news stations, in your TV shows, lied that there's a, quote, mountain of evidence of collusion. This is worse than Watergate. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Said that the day before the Mueller report came out, practically, and that was a big lie. That is why the nine Republicans who served with him on the Intelligence Committee asked him to step down. They lost complete faith in him, not because they're partisans, but because he lied. So now he's lying again. If he thought there was enough in the actual call transcript, the actual call that occurred between the Ukrainian and American presidents, if he thought there was enough there, he wouldn't have to concoct an entire version in his own head. But that's how he gets on TV. And you allow him. And shame on that. Can stop we, making him, accept? excuse me, stop making him the bell of the ball if you're actually looking for truth. Is misdemeanors? Anybody here? But does he Am I missing something? Kelly, Democrats are suggesting that the president is tampering with witnesses by talking publicly about the penalty for screening and to hire more leaders. All of us. So why, Kellyanne, did NSC lawyers direct it to be placed into that highly sensitive classified vault if it, in fact, was so insensitive that we all had access to it? But do you realize, I don't even know what you mean by insensitive. Um, I mean, I, I know you're all capable of being insensitive, but what, toward me anyway, but what, and toward the president, but what do you mean insensitive? It, Can you it explain is, why it was put it, in the it Excuse me. Okay, let me, let, me, let me put it this way. If it's okay to release that transcript to the American public, then Isn't that what you wanted? Isn't that what you were begging for? Is there another transcript that is a word-for-word -word verbatim oh, of that phone those call? those things don't exist. In other words, You've, and I know you've all talked to people who work in other administrations who say this is exactly the way these calls are done. There are no audios. Are you saying that when, when this White House says it's a complete unredacted version, it's not? What are you looking for in a different version? Well, that isn't the question you asked. No, her question was also, I don't think that respectfully you understand that every single call between the American president and a foreign leader is by its nature classified. So let's start with that. So I don't know why you're saying you don't see anything in there that's classified. It is classified. It's a call between Kellyanne, the U.S. It was president. Classified secret. So why was it on a server that was reserved for sensitive compartmental life information that was so sensitive that the server was air gapped and not connected to a network? Why so, was something that was classified secret, as shown on the document, put in that server when the document I'm going to repeat myself. Didn't belong there? I'm going to repeat. The document does not say that. You're saying that, and you, the and respectfully, you have about secret. as much experience in national secret. security and classification of documents as the microphone. But does. I so can just stop. Read. Right. You read into a lot of things which you want to see. You saw collusion for two and a half years. You and your buddy Adam Schiff. So let's not today. I'm going to repeat the answer I already gave several times. 
and I gave it yesterday. Yeah, no, no, that's that's what you want it to be. My answer is responsive. The people who handle such things said it was handled appropriately. The point of that document is everybody has access to it now, but that doesn't satisfy you. That's why he didn't capitulate to the angry mob. He released the document to show that what he said is true. There was no quid pro quo. Nobody mentioned the 2020 election. Nobody talked about what's his name, Joe Biden. Uh, precious Joe Biden, you're well, all trying to prop up Joe a little Biden bit longer. No, as a, as a presidential, as a political opponent. No, he. They were talking about corruption. They were talking about corruption, and wow. You mentioned Joe Biden. Maybe yes, because they were talking about corruption, and we all like to talk about Joe Biden when we're talking about corruption, because it, as vice president, he's and he's he's bragging about it. January 23rd, 2018, in front of the Council on Foreign Relations in New York City, he's bragging, and I told them, mob boss for sure. I told them I'm only here for six more hours on the ground. You better fire that prosecutor or you won't get your billion dollar loan guarantees. That's what we're saying to you, the Ukraine who lives in the shadow of Russia. That's what we're saying. Oh, right. They wanted it done that way, right? Because it was not verbatim conversation that was documented. Can you just clarify? It sounds that like part? you don't see any high crimes or misdemeanors either. Are you serious? This is a question you were all asking three days ago when you didn't think he would release it. I just I'm now you an have it. To clarify what would you like to call it? What, what would you like to call it? I would like you to clarify no, like, what why would you like it's to call called it? a transcript as opposed to what it really is. It's just notes that could have been edited and revised. Is that what you're doing? You're accusing people who work for. in the room. You're accusing people who, I'm not accusing who do this anyone. for a living. I'm asking you to clarify. This is no, your you're not asking me for clarify. To clarify. You're harassing me. What are you saying? You're saying you're going to let your plan to play on the background checks for a man. Guys, I'm not going to be yelled. I'm not going to be part of your mob. I'm, I'm like the only person out here taking your questions. And I'm not going to, just because you want to go viral or you want to sit on Twitter all weekend like a lot of you do, that's not how I choose to spend my weekend, so have fun. Um, but but I, listen, I'm here to try to, I'm trying to answer your questions, but I'm not going to be screamed at. I'm not going to be screamed at. I'm not going to allow yourselves to go viral and, be, and, and frankly, act um, rude. On the, on the grounds of, of the White House. It's just I would appreciate the questions not being so repetitive. You know, I don't call you enemy of, the rel uh, enemy of the people, but I sure the hell can call you enemy of the relevant some days. Ask a question that matters that you haven't asked. Who's this witness? He's not intimidating anybody. He's talking about treason and penalties for treason. Isn't he intimidating this whistleblower from participating in Does the whistleblower who you've all held up as a hero... I'm not saying uh, that. I'm just saying, isn't no, that intimidating no, hold on. witness? No, it's not intimidating witness. How? How is it intimidating witness? You're just making that Brandon, up. And you're shaking that. What's, 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 what's your main message? Practice in the mirror next. What's your main message? 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 The main message is there are no high crimes and misdemeanors here. He has to do it himself. Is there a plan to hire more? How seriously is the administration considering curbing investment? flows into China. So just, look, this is all about getting a good bilateral trade deal that no longer screws the American worker and American American interests. The president's ready to do a deal. They were very close last spring, as you know, as he, he says often. And he feels like the terms were changed last moment. He's made very clear, as has his team, they want to do a deal. He thinks that the tariffs are working. He suspended them for a couple of weeks because China's celebrating something on October 1st. But uh, he wants a good bilateral trade deal. He also wants them to make good on their promise about fentanyl, and he also is watching them with regard to the Hong Kong protesters. Are you okay? Kellyanne, despite the inquiry, 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 and ask me questions like that. Why Why would we need to do that? They want to impeach the president. Let's see where this goes. The Clinton White Let's House Let's see where this goes. So far, <laughs> all I heard, they had they had felonies on Clinton. Clinton lied to Congress on August 17, 1998. I'm actually old enough to remember watching him do that, watching an American president lie to a grand jury about a sexual relationship. And I see Hillary, some brand new expert on impeachment. I bet she is. She sat in the office I now have in the West Wing. I'm actually being productive up there. And she sat in that office while her husband was being impeached for lying to the grand jury, trying to cover up a sexual affair. 
Uh, are we anywhere near that? Do you see an analogy here? Yeah. If that were true, then Adam Schiff wouldn't have to make up. Are you okay with this? 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 Are you concerned about future whistleblowers? What is your message to the whistleblower? I have a message to the whistleblower. I have no message to the whistleblower. whistleblower. Kellyanne, on universal background checks, may I, for a second, on something? Kellyanne, this country has been through, this White House has been through for two years. How could the president justify getting on the phone with a foreign leader and raising the name of his Democratic rival, the Democratic frontrunner, in any capacity? The only election you talked about on that call. You mean after what you guys have put us through for two and a half years? Is that what you meant? Do you know how many headlines, you know how many tweets you sent out about collusion? You wrote an article yesterday that's simply false about how we're all reacting in the West Wing. We had a good chuckle over it. He's not a rival. Joe Biden's, Joe Biden's his rival. Joe Biden is self-destructing. Well, because he's because he's amused. He thinks it's funny. He's, he's amused. Kellyanne, By the way, Joe Biden is self-immolating. But hold on. The only no, the, the president did mention one election on that call, and he mentioned two elections. He mentioned the Ukrainian elections. The presidential election happened. He talked to the Ukrainian president after that. The parliamentary election happened. He congr it was a congratulatory call for that. The Ukrainian president then goes on to tell President Trump, I learned a lot from you. We're draining the swamp here. I ran on anti-corruption, and it's been a landslide. We all know that. And so the president was saying, you can help us. You can do me a favor. Some of you deleted the whole rest of the transcript, which is a disgrace. You can do me a favor. What was the favor? He said, you know, we've just been put through this for the last couple of years. Can you do me a favor, though? No. Yeah. We've just been put through this. You saw Bob Mueller testify yesterday. We've just been put through this. I heard this thing called crowd strike. The president wants to get to the bottom of the 2016 stuff. That's the only election he mentioned. He never mentioned 2020. He never said, oh, Joe Biden scares me. Um, whatever political geniuses were telling him that you are, are very foolish. Why raise his name at all? Why not just leave it to that? What you just said? They were talking about corruption, and a sitting vice president threatened to withhold loan guarantees of a billion dollars from Ukraine and puffed his chest out about it and was all was all tough guy mob boss like to, to coin a phrase at the council of foreign relations and, and and on the council of foreign relations and his son had contracts there obviously I Hunter Biden Kelly, Kelly, like, Kelly, but it's so is the president still willing but it's so nice it's actually so nice despite the impeachment would he never talk for Ukraine less states until Biden became a presidential contender why is it appropriate for guys I'm not just going to have you shout questions I'm happy to answer them but you're just shouting questions you're just shouting questions can you take between the president and the president Rouhani on Iran and what's the plan going ahead in terms of the discrepancy. What does that even mean? Rouhani said that the U.S. is willing to lift sanctions in return for talk, and the president denied it. Can you explain? So, are you believing Rouhani? I'm asking you for. No, no, no. You didn't ask me a, a coherent question that made any sense. Okay, let me. You said, here. "Here's what the Iranian let president this. said." This is what the president of Iran said: that the U.S. is willing to lift talks, lift sanctions yeah, right. in return for talk. And what did the president say when he's been asked about he Rouhani? I'm asking what's the plan going forward in terms of negotiations. No, that isn't what you asked. That isn't what you asked. You asked me to decide who we believe, Rouhani or, or President Trump. Yeah, you have to come up with questions, guys, that make sense, that you've thought about. But it's, it's very good to hear. It's, it's very, very good. It's very, yeah, but the Democrats are talking about that. Universal background checks. Whoever mentioned universal background checks. Well, I'm asking you. Whoever mentioned that. What do you mean, whoever mentioned I don't think you've been He's paying attention to the no, I, no, no, in other words, I'm asking the question. That's an example of something that has been talked about that no, perhaps the president could work with Democrats Nobody, on. Nobody's I'm talking asking about the UP, I'm asking, the, I'm bringing you it up as an example. You have to ask the Democrats that question. You have to ask the Democrats that question. Is the president, president still willing to work with Democrats on getting things like universal background checks done despite an ongoing impeachment inquiry? Again, you're asking, a question that's, you're asking a question that's not relevant and not very thoughtful or legitimate because you're talking about universal background checks that nobody else is. As a bipartisan measure. Maybe well, everyone's mean, talking about impeachment. I was maybe trying to mean draw the attention checks. to something that's pretty you know important. What, you know what background checks We have the anniversary are? of the Las Vegas massacre coming you know up this next And that was bump stocks. That was bump stocks. The president has president indicated support previously at times, for, some support, come on, for, for some degree of a conversation towards moving towards universal background no, checks. No, you're wrong again. Well, you're not, you're not, you're not very good. not going to listen to this. Listen, listen, I'm doing you a favor. I'm not going to do this, okay? That's just you screaming questions at me is very uncivilized. It's not nice, and frankly, it's not journalism. Okay, but I, I'll go back to I'll go back to I'll go back to Kristen Welcome, and she said, you know, the country had just gone through this for two years, more than two, but 
that sounds to me like you don't want the country to go into another ridiculous, unfounded investigation wasting people's Why time and money. What do you see in there that you think is found? I know you're all acting like activists these days. What do you see in the transcript? Well, first of all, that was released by the White House. Right? It and was not don't released. Point at me. It was not a hearsay. It was released by the White House, no, no, no. the transcript. No, no, no. Hearsay is what the whistleblower is putting in there because the whistleblower didn't have first. That's what people are saying, firsthand information. Yes, you didn't expect the White House to release it. So now that you did, and there's nothing in there that but would justify is, an impeachment fact, inquiry. In fact, really? You know, Ooh, what ICIG is it? Said, what is it? Oh, unbiased reporter who's not an activist. I would have confused you for one. What do you see in there? Well, first of all, it doesn't matter what we see. It's what the ICIG and the acting DNI. Really? Because the OLC said, said the OLC they, said it wasn't even an intelligence activity. It was quote routine diplomacy. That's number one. Number two, the criminal division of the Department of Justice investigating said there's no campaign finance violation. But I'm sure you, as an unbiased reporter, not acting like an activist, although you sure sound like one to me, has a different opinion of that. And they should just go. We should just not. We should just discount what the OLC and the DOJ said. Right? Any all, talk I mean, listen, I would respect, I'd have a lot more respect if you would just say, I never wanted him to win. I didn't vote for him. I, I'm worried that we have no idea how to beat him at the ballot box, and so we're here to try to impeach him. I'd have a lot more respect. Just say that. The president doesn't even know what that system is. Why would he? He's the president. We don't know while the Situation Room and the NSC does their job. We do know that early in his administration, calls with the foreign lead, the leaders of Mexico and Australia leaked a couple months after that. A conversation he had in the Oval Office with the Russian ambassador and another Russian official leaked. And so my understanding is that different protocols were put into place. But this president, when he had an opportunity not to figure out was the memo put, was the transcript put in bin A or bin B, but could he release it? He released it. You have it. And you're still asking that question. Although you have you have access to the phone call. And it's not enough because it didn't satisfy, it doesn't scratch the itch of how to get rid of Donald Trump, how to erase the last two and a half years, how to undo the twenty sixteen election, how to how to preclude the 2020 election. This is not how democracy works. It doesn't work that way. With you being an attorney, if they do pursue this process, does it not open up the door to do investigations into the Democrats, maybe, that have done things in the past? It may bounce back well, on first them. First of all, I'm a fully recovered attorney, 12 steps and everything. So uh, still admitted to practice, I think, in four states. But um, I, we're not even thinking about that because this president wants to make good on his promise to see American keep people to keep this historic economy going, to be a net exporter of natural gas and oil, to, to actually have 150 federal judges and counting, to keep deregulating where they're duplicative and intrusive and invasive. To, to keep on trying to bring peace and prosperity to multiple places around the world. So we're not, I'm certainly not talking about investigating the Democrats. I don't understand why they're trying to impeach him based on a transcript of a call that they had not seen. It makes no sense to anyone here who, to quote Kristen Welker and others, quote, lived through two years and $35 million of taxpayer money for a, for a Mueller report, a Mueller investigation, then Mueller testimony that was a big let down and you all know it because you played it up for years and I would just respectfully caution everybody if you're going to cover this wall to wall for the next however long the charade goes on be a little bit fair if you can't be fair to the president and to this White House be fair to democracy be fair to the American people and make sure they know Adam Schiff made up made up an entire phone call yesterday and said it as if anybody who's tuning in and just getting a snippet of that only heard that part there's no, there's no disclaimer underneath him saying he's making this up. He's a drama queen trying to just make up a whole story, a phone call that never happened. He's imagining it for the cameras, hoping you'll invite him on, and you will, and a lie a little bit more. That's just not fair to the American people who rely upon the ability to turn on a hearing and listen to their elected representatives tell the truth. And look, the DNI acting director, Mr. McGuire, a great public servant, has been serving in our Navy since 1974. He's under oath, but Adam Schiff wasn't. 
And when he makes up a story like that, it hurts the entire process. So if you're going to cover this wall to wall to the exclusion of everything else that needs to get done in this town by that Congress, at least be a little bit fair. Seems like from what you're saying that there is no originally uh Ken Cuccinelli addressed that earlier. I think you've got your you've got your words wrong. Go ahead. No, I'm afraid not. I'm asking you if you're okay. What is the White House's strategy to fight this impeachment process and what is the mood, the president mood? Right now, he seemed down the past three days. <laughs> what? Have you been with him? Because I have. Yeah, I've been following off everything he's saying. The press really? Press, yeah. yeah. Oh, does he look down to you? Yeah. Are you a psychologist yeah. now, too? Yeah, he, I know. I mean, it was not just Yeah, me, so psychologists, like marriage counselors. That, yeah. No, I wouldn't answer. I wouldn't dignify such a completely ridiculous question okay, so yeah. with what the response. Strategy? What is the strategy then to fight the impeachment? The process? strategy. I mean, we laugh out loud when we see. We're, we actually had a whole collection of the stories today. I won't repeat everything that was discussed, but um, you're not worried about his mood. You're worried about him getting reelected. But look, he's great for business. So. Why would I be in a bad mood? To your point about everyone shouting. No one wants to be shouting questions. I just want to ask questions. Is there any discussion about coming back? But look, our great press secretary made very clear that no, no time soon because things like this happen. In other words, that's what happens. We make, excuse me, we make superstars of individuals who just want to ask the same question with the, with the camera going and then sell books or get TV contracts or whatever. That's not, that's not the role of the press, really, in my view. I mean, sure, you can ask what you want. But when I ask you, what I ask you, well, you're a good example of that. When I ask you of, so rude. Um, really just like full on sexist now, but that's okay. How's your, How how's, that your sexist? How's, your, how's your tape recording how's going on my back? We just Are, is he gonna sign in any CR? event in any event, uh, I think Stephanie Grisham's doing a great job owning the responsibilities of a press secretary in President Trump's White House, which is to try to get back and provide quotes and context when those who are writing stories or reporting stories are asking them, they work round the clock trying to provide that information and supporting what is an incredibly available president of the United States, available to you, the press, available to the people. The democratization of information this week was capped off with the president releasing the transcript of that call, but it really started with him communicating directly with the people in pool sprays, in press avails, in press conferences, on his social media feeds. He's very accessible to you. And the fact is, and I wasn't deciding what the role of the press is, I could really care less. And I've seen the press's poll numbers recently. I'm trying to help you here. That's why I'm out here. So if a couple of you want to be rude, insult me personally, get your shots in when you think you can, when you think it's fun, that's fine. I don't even see most of it. It doesn't matter to me. I'm here as a public servant trying to explain the policies of what we're doing here, trying to answer questions that are reasonable and well-reasoned and thought out and relevant to the day's news. Sometimes you ask them, sometimes you don't.